With our comrades in arms from the land and the air Together we stand in defense of our land Never flagging in adversity Forward we march on to victory Fishermen undergo many naval related lessons and these include uh, navigation, how to uh, plot a route from port to port, or from harbour to harbour out at sea and uh, this is one of the most fundamental lessons that they have to learn as a naval officer in charge of navigation. Our main role is to bring a ship out safely so uh, they put us through very vigorous uh, navigation training. It is this knowledge intensive that uh, will affect a lot of people. In lieu of navigation training, the engineers will learn the engineering systems on the ship, including fresh water systems, how they make the water, how the water pipes run on the ship. Uh, they will learn the engines and how the ship uh, moves itself, and all the engineering related systems on the ship. For seamanship, they will learn how to tie ropes, tie knots, uh, connect ropes together, splicing, and other seamanship related uh, activities. Over this rope, under this rope. This is seamanship, basic seamanship. Yes. Just pull, 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 twist. Yeah. Engineering officers that we have talking about types where they're using foam. Oh, it's the color of the pipe. Color. I know the color, the it's color. The color, but yeah. dude, it's not a pipe. The pipe means pipe. <laughs> you're, you're surrounded by. Surrounded by by you're surrounded by M Dex. Okay, okay. 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 If you can't win, then just join them. I will not. It's really this pipe means pain. It's hydraulic. <laughs> It's a very colourful batch. We have people from JC, you have people from Poly, you have people who finish their degree and they come back anyway. There will be many, many times when they will be put to the test through the course of the six weeks, including uh, many tests and activities they have to juggle concurrently. Right. You have finished again to get the test started, huh? A midshipman would typically sleep anywhere between three to five hours a day. They will try to catch catnaps here and there uh, in between lessons when they have 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Mids are known for being able to sleep everywhere. We can sleep while standing. We have people planking in certain positions and sleeping. We can sleep everywhere. Lessons can be tough, but I look forward to Astronav. Yeah. Astronav! Travelers last time, when they do not have a radar system or even an electronic chart display system, they will actually look into the stars to know their position. Astronavigation is still taught to rich men because it is a fundamental of being a naval seafarer. We want them to know the basics and the history behind it. Although in modern times, uh, with the availability of technology and GPS, uh, ships nowadays don't use it. They get to use a sextant and to practice what olden day travellers rely on. The sextant is not an easy tool to use. First of all, we had to um, learn how to read the error, the index error of your sextant. So basically what we just did is that uh, we shot the bearing of the sun, which we will compare against the bearing of the sun we calculated from uh, our nautical tables. And in doing so, we will find out our gyro error. Everyone was just looking, looking, pointing at some weird awkward direction and just like, can you see the sun? Oh, uh, can you? No. So everyone really struggled. So after getting used to using a sextant in the day, we had to learn how to use the sextant at night. Seeing the stars through your view lenses and then aiming at it, that's called shooting. The instructor was pointing at the stars, going, this here is Orion and these are the stars and we were going, whoa! <laughs> a lot of us were really awed at the sight. 
last time I used to just look at stars and thought how oh wow how beautiful it is you know but now I actually get to appreciate more because in a sense you know a person instead of just admiring a person after the practical, a lot of us felt more like real marinas, like back in the ancient days when we can actually navigate without the use of GPS, um, satellite radar, and all these. I felt like a real sailor. What do the mates do when they're not having lessons? See this week's bonus video on how the mates and the crew take a break. You can also learn more about the basics of navigating a ship and the different sea states on the trivia page. And you can read the vlog entries by the mates themselves and see photos of the MSTV in the photo gallery. All these at www.navy.sg slash the passage.